I would like to ask you all a question. Where is home to you? Where are you from? These are all questions that we ask on a daily basis when we introduce ourselves. Most of you may answer these straightforwardly. However, for people like me, if you've lived in more than one country in your life for a long period of time, you will see that it is not as simple as just naming the country of your nationality. I was able to have a vastly different experience growing up, thanks to my father's job, which sent me and my family to Spain when I was only three years old. I lived there for about a decade, so my view of the world is this blend of Japanese, Spanish, and an international school culture. But what gives? This question should be easy to answer. I know I hold a Japanese nationality, was born in Tokyo to both Japanese parents. But the thing is, having spent most of my life in Barcelona, Spain, I consider it my true home. Some people may even say that I don't act like the typical Japanese person, and when I ask for an explanation, they're usually unable to provide me with one. This makes me wonder, am I truly Japanese? These questions or confusions about where we are from can all be attributed to modern day globalization. Countries being more connected allows for families to move to different countries as part of their jobs. Hello everyone, my name is Shoma Nishida. I am a 10th grader and a student of Canadian Academy, and I am what people call a third culture kid. What is a third culture kid? A TCK is described as a person who has spent their formative years in a different culture than the culture of the parents. The first culture represents the parent culture, which is Japan in my case. The second culture represents the home culture, which is Spain. And the third culture represents the mixture of the two cultures in the mind of the third culture kid. The term third culture kids was first coined by American sociologist Dr. Ruth Lansin when she raised kids in India in the 1950s. At the time, it was first used for kids of diplomats or military personnel, so the amount of TCKs was generally low. But now, in 2023, thanks to increased globalization, the number of TCKs grew to about 230 million people, or about 1 in 35 people. Now keep in mind that there's not just one type of third culture kid. Because of all of the different and unique experiences each TCK has. However, there are traits and abilities that I believe we have in common. There are things that stand out differently from those who have never lived abroad or experienced multiple cultures. Some traits that many of us share is this strong sense of acceptance of diversity and adapt adaptability. Having lived in different cultures and communities, we have learned to adapt to environments and embrace differences quicker than others. This adaptability often makes it easier for TCKs to feel at home in new places by connecting with locals. Although I was in an international school, I had close Spanish and South American friends that I regularly spoke Spanish with. They were the ones that allowed me to feel at home in Barcelona and really connect with the community. TCKs also possess the powerful tool of language and communication. We usually speak about two or more languages. I can speak Japanese, English, and Spanish and switching between them has always come natural to me. Growing up in these contrasting cultures subconsciously gave me a wider perspective of the world. It has made me more adaptable, resilient, and a more open-minded person, while also allowing me to speak to more people all over the world and experience but also digest diverse cultures. The thing is, 
While living in new environments can be rewarding and fulfilling, it's not without a share of challenges such as feeling disconnected from your parent culture. During my stay in Spain, I only visited Japan every once in two years. As a result, I remember constantly experiencing, still experiencing, reverse culture shocks whenever back in Japan. I felt like a stranger in my own country. Living away has also made me feel a bit distant with my relatives, who all live thousands of kilometers away. Although I did speak to them via Skype, it was not the same as spending time with them in person. The language barrier when first moving can make you feel very confused and isolated as well. In my first year in Spain, when I was four years old, my parents enrolled me in a local summer camp at a tennis academy. During my stay there, I struggled with, to communicate a lot and felt like an outsider. I often just wished to go back home to the comfort of my parents. It wasn't just the language barrier that was a struggle though. It was also the cultural norms differences. For example, Spain has a high number of public beaches and swimming pools. So most kids are taught how to swim at a very young age and are not afraid of the water. Whereas in Japan, only limited kids can swim. We had pool sessions every day at the camp, but since I never learned how to swim, I waited outside while everyone else had fun. The teachers would try to encourage me to join in, but I couldn't communicate with them about my fear of the water. One time, a teacher even tossed me into the pool, just like this. This is my brother, but you, you guys can imagine what a traumatic experience this was for me. As you can probably guess, I, this resulted in not me not really having a great time overall when I first moved abroad. But despite all these challenges I faced, I overcame them and believe that being a TCK is rewarding for the coming future. As globalization continues to evolve and companies and countries become more interconnected, the number of TCKs will vastly increase. Being able to speak multiple languages, adapt to different environments, and understand diverse cultures from around the world is becoming an even more of a valuable asset than ever. These global citizens can help contribute positively to the world by bridging the gap between countries. Especially when the world is experiencing the effects of climate change, plastic pollution, and conflict, which all of these issues can be solved through international collaboration. TCKs, we can serve as some mediator between these different countries and cultures. Take the United Nations, for example. The United Nations is an international global, global organization that aims to promote peace and cooperation. Representatives and diplomats are individuals with diverse cultures and backgrounds, including some being TCKs. Barack Obama is a very famous example of a TCK that benefited a lot from being exposed to multiple cultures from a very young age. And as the world becomes more interconnected and aware of each other's cultures, by being able to communicate effectively across linguistic and cultural barriers, individuals can help bridge the divides and build relationships across borders, ultimately contributing to a more sustainable and peaceful world. And if there's one thing I want you all to take away from today, is that in a world that often seeks to divide us, TCKs are a reminder that our differences are what makes us strong. Embrace your TCK identity and use it to inspire others to celebrate diversity and work towards a better future for all. Thank you.